welcome back to Hilo Lux for Luxury and Style are Attainable. We have a good video today. I mean, they're all good, but we have fall wardrobe essentials, closet staples, capsule wardrobe, all those things. Um, I try to do these videos every season and these are just my closet essentials. They're gonna help you put outfits together, super easy. You can mix and match all of these. I'm going to talk through each piece and I have like, um, examples from every price point and I'm gonna put up a little section here of me like styling it everything all of like the styling portion will be only the closet essentials so that way you can see like how much of a capsule wardrobe it can be how impactful it can be to your wardrobe with just these items you can basically go anywhere at any time and make an appropriate outfit um, of course you can jazz it up with extra things and the fun things like accessories and shoes and all that stuff but i have 13 items including three styles of shoes that i think will carry you through fall our essentials don't worry we will have a winter um closet essentials video coming because you know it's colder then so there's different pieces also i have a trends video coming up so just keep in mind none of the like fall trends are in this this is just like basic staples essentials classic pieces that you can bring out um, each fall so i feel like that was a long one <laughs> um we're gonna go ahead and get into it this video is in partnership with farfetch come on Come on now, maybe you're new, maybe you're new. If you never heard of Farfetch, you know that's where most of my money goes. It's my favorite place to shop. I use the app, I personally prefer that. They house hundreds of thousands of boutiques all around the world, department stores, um, standalone stores, boutiques, Paris, Milan, everywhere. Um, and basically they just bring you all the fashions. I love how they curate like sections. Like I like to shop by section, you can do like, the seasons must haves or um, romantic styles, edgy styles, street style. I love that, I love that for me. It just gets me to where I need to be a little quicker. So um, a few pieces will be from Farfetch. So I'll show you those, of course. I think I have four or five. Um, and then we have like other brands and price points as well. But of course, thank you to Farfetch for partnering with me. Again, it's my favorite place to shop. And I know you've been waiting on this because I get probably a DM every day if I have a discount code available. And now I do. It'll be live as soon as this video goes live and it will be live for 30 days. So the discount code, I'll put it here. It's Janae YT10. So like Janae YT, like YouTube. <laughs> 10 and it'll get you 10% off. Um, there are some exclusions. All of that will be in the description box. So check there. You can find really hard to find pieces because again, like especially if they're out of stock, you can put your name down for something and some random boutique, you know, in Italy might get that item. As opposed to like trying to go to a department store or somewhere local, like there are better chances <laughs> that the hundreds of boutiques that are housed on Farfetch will get that one of a kind item. So. Your, your chances are very good, but I'm sure if you're not new, you 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 know all about Farfetch, you know that's bad. So, without any more rambling, we'll get into the essentials. Again, I have 13 essentials, and I will style them up over here for you as I talk through them. Okay, let's get into it. All right, so my first closet essential for fall is going to be a midi length sweater dress. This can take you anywhere. I'm sure you see me styling it up here. Um, but this dress, this style of dress, you can wear it with knee high boots to the office. You can wear it with um, sneakers on the weekends to run errands. You can wear it with a pump or a strappy sandal and go to dinner. It can do everything. I have three examples. Um, two are the same thing. I just got it in two colors because that's how good it is. Um, the first two are from Jonathan Simkai. They are available on Farfetch. These aren't the pieces I just got but they're also from <laughs> Farfetch. Um, they're super cute, they have like a V-neck. Wrap dresses are just so flattering. They flatter every figure. Uh, midi length, really soft fabric. I have it in like this pink and I got this oatmeal last year and then I got the pink um, a few weeks ago. And if you shopped my collection with Amazon, I made <laughs> uh, a midi length sweater dress for my first collection last fall because it was an essential. Again, you can like push the sleeves up, you can push the sleeves up, put on some tennis shoes and like dress it down, a larger tote or bag, dress it down. You can do a little clutch or a cute little bag, sandals, you know, sexy boots. This can carry you anywhere. Like if I had to pick like a number one, it might be this. Um, 
they're just so versatile and again they can take you everywhere. that's all i need to say they can take you everywhere of course everything that i show will be linked below and i'll just put it again in categories because it's not necessarily about the specific item it's about the category right like you don't have to get this dress and you can't get this one because it's not for sale anymore but it's about the style of the piece so next up is probably my new favorite item in my closet i know <laughs> it'll probably change but right now currently i feel like i've worn these jeans like three times in the last week um but the overall style is a 90s style loose fitting wide leg ish relaxed pair of denim um denim in general obviously is a good essential um but i feel like this really combines like it's a trend but it also is just comfortable and for me personally and i feel like for a lot of people coming from like staying at home and quarantine and wearing sweats and then trying to like get back into jeans and denim i don't want to wear anything tight i'm not doing it <laughs> like there's so many jeans i've gotten rid of because they're just not comfortable and this style i feel like has reemerged because of that like we still want to wear denim and denim just like i have on denim <laughs> like denim just looks nice with certain colors and sometimes it just like completes an outfit but i'm not squeezing into anything i don't want to sit around in some tight jeans so i feel like this is kind of like the perfect marriage of that so the pair that i'm obsessed with from Farfetch, and I had these on my wish list for quite a while. They're by NM6 Margiela. They're like the perfect shade of denim. They're not too light, they're not too dark. They have this crazy cutout. I know this may not be for everyone, um, but again, they are super wide leg. I'll pop up a picture and I'll style these, um, but I absolutely love them. I really wasn't sure. Um, I've always been more of a straight leg type of denim girl. Of course, I love a skinny jean when I want to wear like boots, you know, and I need the skinny jean to go into the boots. But the one that I was like, Meh. after wearing these, like I have to add these to the essentials list. Um, I would typically just do like a straight leg pair. But again, it's the comfort for me. It's just the ease, the, re the relaxedness of it all um, that I just love so much. So also the pair I, I literally have on <laughs> jeans that look similar and they are from Zara. And I have a pair that are from H&M because again, I was like, let me stock up because I'm not, this, this is the jean for me for fall. Um, so again, you can get these at every price point and it's more around the style. Okay, next closet essential is the cardigan. I feel like it kind of came back last year and we were doing it with like the bralette underneath. I'm pretty sure Kate, the brand made that really famous. Katie Holmes wore that and she got shot like in street style and that just exploded and went everywhere. So we were doing the kind of like matching bra cardigan thing. Now it's just cardigans and they have done something to me mainly because of the versatility, right? Like I have on a cardigan and I could take this little crop top off underneath I could button this up, I could tuck it in. This could be just basically a V-neck sweater, right? But then it could just be a layering piece. I can do this, right? Or then, actually I'll pop up a picture. I'm not even gonna take this one off, but I'll pop up a picture when I went to Fashion Week and I had like, I just wore a cardigan over my shoulders while, while I shopped because you go in the store, you're cold, then you come out, it's hot. And I was just like, it's such a good alternative when you don't wanna wear like a heavier jacket. I have a lot of options to show you. The first one, well, I love this one. I literally just got it today in the mail and I put it on for the video. Um, so this one is Zara and it is super, super soft. And I love the color combination, pink and orange. Who knew? I feel like I'm literally just learning how to wear different colors together and I love this combination. So the other one that is probably my favorite is this one from Nanushka. You should see me styling it. Uh, but I like this silhouette because it's a little different than like this silhouette and I think the rest of these, which is kind of like a little more boxy, a little oversized. This is a little sexier, um, a little more fitted. It really gives me, <laughs> I'll pop up a picture, but it really gives me like 90s, um, like total vibes. Um, think like Mia Long vibes, Love Jones vibes. It just, it just gives me that. Basically like you button one or two buttons here and it kind of like opens up at the bottom. It has like these really super elongated sleeves. 
super wide collar. It's just so flattering. And this is by Danushka. I don't know if I said that. I'm literally just like fawning over it because I love it so much. Um, and it comes in cream too. I'm probably gonna have to get the cream. Also, other examples. But again, cardigans. It's a great option when you don't wanna wear a heavy jacket. Again, if you throw it on over your shoulders, you can wear it at the top. Um, this is the one I wore to Fashion Week. Obsessed with this like green of the season. Love it so much. This one's from Zara. Also just got this one from Amazon in this really pretty yellow. This one actually comes with the matching crop top and <laughs> because I have an obsessive personality, I just got this one from H&M um, in like this oatmeal color. Cardigans, get into, get into it. Next up, this is probably my holy grail of <laughs> closet essentials and it's probably the item that goes through the most seasons, I'm gonna say. The second item, there's another one that goes through every season. But that's gonna be the satin midi slip skirt. She is, again, when you don't wanna wear pants, but you don't wanna wear a dress, but you need a bottom, it goes for every occasion. It does the same thing the sweater dress does, right? But if you just wanted to wear like a t-shirt because it's a little warmer and just tuck it in or you wanted to wear a crop top or a tank top, it does everything. But then you can also put a blazer with it. You can also put like a little sweater with it. I have this one from the brand Lee Matthews. This is from Farfetch and I thought this color was just stunning. Also, I like the like little detail it has at the bottom. It has like a cup almost. Feels ex exquisite, like amazing. Um, this one, I just didn't have a color like it. I feel like it's a great neutral, but it'll be easy, really easy to dress up. So. Really excited, again, you should see me styling it. And then I found this black one at Zara and it's a little different because it has like a little slit at the front. So I thought that would be fun. Okay, next closet essential. I'm calling this your feel good top. What does that mean? That just means the shirt you, that just means the shirt you can put on, you don't know what to wear, and you want to do more than just like something casual or basic and you just wanna feel your best. It's the shirt that flatters you the most, that makes you feel the most confident. So I have a few. Um, and again, what they have in common is that the necklines are very flattering to me in my body style because I have a larger chest. I like things that have like, and I have short hair, I like things that have an interesting neckline. I've talked about this before. Um, so that one, my chest just doesn't look huge or it doesn't make me look bigger than I am. And then I don't have any hair or anything here. So I want something to kind of like zhuzh up right here. So first up is this top from Farfetch. I think actually all of these are from Farfetch. This is by the brand Saint Agni. You can't really see it, but you'll see it when I style it. Um, but it is literally, it's kind of like a wrap, it's a faux wrap top. So um, again, a V neckline, a deep V, which is really flattering on me that I like. It makes me feel good. It's really comfortable. It has, I love really long sleeves. I just think it's something like feminine and sexy about that. Don't ask me why. <laughs> but that's just what I like. I like that it has like this collar detail, but it's like a faux collar. I love this. And it's like cropped, so you can tuck it into like high waist things without having like a bunch of fabric bunch up. Again, I could wear it with a slip skirt. I could wear it with like cute denim. I could wear it with like some shorts. Super cute. You guys have seen this next top a million times. I have it in two colors because that's how good it makes me feel. And it is from Self Portrait. This little brown top with like the lace on the side. I'm pretty sure I showed this last year in like a farfetch haul. And I also have it in like this kind of like white sparkly. But for me, this one is like the neckline. It has like a sweetheart neckline, um, really wide shoulder. So it shows a lot of like decollete and it's just so special. And this is my go-to, like when I put, when I want to feel pretty sexy, this is the top I go to. And you also saw this one last year. This is from Stodd. I have this top in like four colors, but this is the leather version. Cause again, it, we're getting into fall so I can finally bring it out. This has a deep V, which is super flattering. It cinches the waist in and, and kind of like it buttons in the back. And then it has like this little peplum at the bottom. So it makes my waist look smaller. It has like voluminous sleeves. It is my feel good top. These are all my feel good tops. So go to your closet. If you don't have one, just think about, even if it's a dress, think about what makes you feel good in it. So then maybe you can find that in a top, you know? Okay, next up is the lightweight sweater. 
Again, we're headed into fall. I know we all live in different places, so you know, I don't know if you're in Texas, then this may not be an option for you right now. Um, but most places, or a lot of places, it's really cool in the morning, then it gets hot, and it's cool at night. But you know, when you go into your office building, wherever you work, it's probably really cold there. If you go to the grocery store, run some errands, it's cold in there. So I like a lightweight sweater and I'm right now I'm especially pairing these with like shorts and skirts. It just gives me that fall balance where it's like my legs are out so I don't get too hot but then my arms are covered. For me personally I get colder up top so I like the balance and I feel like this is a great piece to have and I am obsessed. You guys saw a similar sweater in my closet organization video. This one's by Loewe. That one was also by Loewe. It was blue and I'm just obsessed. They are super lightweight, very comfortable. They have really pretty text and color. They feel amazing. This one's from Farfetch and the blue one was from Farfetch and I just, I love them so much. And orange and yellow are like, kind of like my new favorite color. Um, but I also like that the background is tan. So absolutely love that. I'll pop up a picture of them on this already. Um, but it is so pretty and lightweight again. You can pair it with shorts, you can pair it with like slip skirts, you can do a little skirt with it. And then once it gets colder, you can also do it with, you know, like a leather pant or something like that. Next up is probably the one that goes with every season, but I feel like in fall and spring, it's probably my favorite because in winter, it just gets to a point where it's so cold, I'm just wearing turtlenecks because <laughs> I just don't want to feel any cold air. Um, and then in summer, it's just kind of hot and then I gravitate towards linen. So, so what I'm talking about is just a oversized button up shirt. I have two options for you. I mean, I have a bajillion, but I brought two to share with you. And really what we're looking for here is a stiffer fabric. Oh, this is blowing out. Let's put the pink one in front. So what we're looking for is like a stiffer fabric um, that feels a little more substantial than like linen um, and just can kind of hold its shape a little bit. So this one is from Zara, this like really pretty pink one. And then this white one I just literally just picked up from H&M. I also have one that I love from, um, that I thrifted from the men's section. So again, this is something that I feel like the really pretty colors, you kind of have to search a little bit for. Um, but if you want just like a classic white one, you can definitely thrift that. Um, also Frankie Shop has really pretty colors too, but you gotta be like on top of it because they always sell out. But these are essentials. <laughs> like they can give you that classic refined look you can tuck this into a pair of trousers or slacks for work obviously but then the fun colors you know just feel a little special you can do this with just some jeans you can do some shorts you know this goes with everything but i feel like the oversized effect kind of makes it a little more current and a little more cool so cotton cotton button-up shirt poplin button-up shirt Next up, one of my favorites, and I just wait for fall so I can wear this thing because it's, again, that appropriate time where you can still be a little hot, but then you can get a little cold, and that's leather shorts or faux leather shorts. I love me a leather short. And in the summertime, it's just too hot, right? And then winter, I don't really love putting tights on with them, but I love, so fall is perfect. Fall and spring is my time to shine. I love me a leather short, tall boot, Blazer, I love the shorts, okay? So first up is this stunning purple pair. This is by Black Owned Brand called Kai Collective. I also have these in like a mustard color as well. And the goal, what you wanna look for with leather shorts, I'm so sorry, this is very important. They need to be tailored. They need to have the details of a tailored short. So think about that, like pair of slacks but in the short form, right? So we wanna have like some type of cuff, we wanna have some type of pleat, we wanna make sure that they button and they have belt loops. That is very important. That's how you go from like pretty woman type of leather shorts <laughs> to like chic, stylish leather short, right? Like there's, very, there's two very different types of leather shorts. So we want a tailored leather short. It's just gonna be more versatile. So I have this pair by Kai Collective and then this pair I shared these are like my holy grail. I shared these last year, I think. These are by Silk Portrait, yes. And I got these from Farfetch. Um, I actually got these a size too big, but I make them work because I love them that much. And again, they have that cuff at the bottom. They have belt loops, belts. This one has like a button fly. These are kind of like a high-waisted paper bag kind of style. I, I mean, you'll see. I'm going to wear, you probably gonna get sick of, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll get sick of seeing these because they go with everything, any type of shirt. And these are great alternatives when you just don't want to wear a dress. But if you want to go to dinner, if you want to, you know, go to brunch or just 
a party even, like this is a great alternative. You can do this with a button up shirt. You can do this with your, you know, feel good top. You can do this with just like your lightweight sweater tucked into it if you wanna make it casual. I love these, you know, with boots, you know, with strappy heels, you can do them with tennis shoes, tailored leather short or faux leather. Um, actually, I'm pretty sure both of these are faux leather. Okay, moving on, and you guys are probably going to want to kill me when I show you this piece because mine is sold out. You always ask about it, but it is, it's the category, category, and that's a denim skirt. <laughs> My favorite denim skirt is this one by Alexander Wang that I got from Farfetch last year. And it's like this crazy deconstructed, like it's really cool. But the point is a denim skirt um, and specifically an A-line denim skirt. So you can see here how this kind of like, put it over here. See how it like goes out, the waist is smaller. That's really important, especially if you have hips, thighs, that is very important. You want the skirt to skim over that you want it to be literally like an A, right? That's why it's called A-line. So you want it to go like that. You want the waist to be smaller and you want it to skim out over your hips. So just type in, I, of course I'll link some below because this one isn't in stock. So I'm gonna link, again, all of these and then I'm gonna try to link options at every price point. So I will link some below, but you specifically wanna look for an A-line denim skirt. Again, this is like my go-to date night outfit. This, some tall boots, a little sweater, a little top, poplin cotton shirt. It's just so easy so easy and you look great but the details matter and the cut matters <laughs> all right all right we are moving we are moving okay next up the last clothing item and then we're gonna get into my shoes the last clothing item is going to be a blazer I prefer an oversized blazer not too oversized where it looks like it's wearing you but I do like to go either like typically I will get a large I'm typically a medium so I'll get a large um, or I'll just look for something that is made in an oversized form and I'll get my normal size so the first one I want to show you is this one I show this every fall um, this one is a thrifted blazer from the men's section so I believe it's a men's large and again, it is perfect. I usually will take this when I travel, just throw it over my shoulders. It has a nice boxy fit. It looks so good. Again, it's just a great layering piece because the temperature varies. It's nice to have something that still makes you look chic, pulls the look together, um, but also adds warmth. Um, because that is something, I don't wanna say that I hate, but sometimes you have on this really cute outfit, right? And then you'll just grab a, a layering piece in case it gets cold but that piece usually detracts from the outfit, right? So you're like, I kind of would rather just be cold because it's gonna mess up the look. <laughs> I know you know what I'm talking about, right? Like you just throw on, you just grab some sweater or cardigan or some jacket and it just, it's like, if I put it on though, the look is ruined. So I feel like blazers like this will just add. They're just gonna add and be like, oh, oh okay, I still see it. And that's why I have two neutral ones here to show you because typically again like even if I wanted to throw one of these over what I have right now let's just say it got extremely cold um this would not hurt my look either both of these colors would go perfectly fine with this outfit um of course if you prefer more colorful blazers do you I have colorful blazers but these are the ones that I would classify as essentials to my wardrobe so yeah oversized this one is from the Frankie shop all right let me make sure. Yeah, this one's from the Frankie shop and it was from Farfetch as well. This one is double breasted. Um, this one is single breasted. So that really doesn't matter too much. It's more about the fit and I would say the color. So um, and I also have as an option a motorcycle jacket because that just depends on your style. But I think the same thing can apply. Um, so if you are more if you have more of an edgy style and you like jackets like you prefer leather jackets instead i would try to find one in like a more chic neutral color outside of black because black just feels like super edgy so this one is from zara it's a few years old but again i could throw this on on top of here and it feels a little more thoughtful than just um, a black one i think so and again you could do i also have this in like camel so that again just feels a little more like an outfit piece as opposed to just like, I just had a leather jacket in the back of my seat of my car and I just need to put it on some color. So there's an option as well. Okay, now let's get into the shoes. I have one, two, three styles. Shoes are fun. <laughs> shoes are fun, so it was kind of hard to narrow this down. 
but I really thought it through. And basically the styles I'm gonna show you are all the styles I mentioned, kind of. Um, yeah, that I think are essentials. We're not including like a date night strappy heel because that's not for everybody. It's not everybody's shoes. And some of these might not be your style either. So just keep that in mind. But these are probably my most worn, once it hits like fall and it gets a little cooler and I'm really not reaching for sandals anymore. These are kind of like my everyday shoes. And again, these are not like trend pieces to me. Okay, <laughs> that's enough of the pressing. So first up, First up is gonna be a classic sneaker. Just super simple, classic. Again, I mentioned this a lot with like the running errands bit, weekend outfits type of style. This is just a good one. So again, you can wear this with like the satin slip skirt and a little crew neck sweater. You can wear this with the wrap dress. You can wear this with the leather shorts. You could wear this with every outfit. You will get a ton of use out of. Next up, the most controversial. But you know I'm gonna talk about it. You know I'm gonna talk about it. It's a chunky boot. Whether you like it or not, the chunky boot is here. She is thriving. Um, and it is a fall essential. I cannot wait till the temperatures drop and I can throw on a skirt and a chunky boot, some shorts and a chunky boot. I love it. And it is an essential to me. It is not a trend. I'm gonna have plenty of shoe trends in the trend video. This is an essential and there's also so many, what's the word I'm looking for? Options, alternatives. This, I go for the super chunk. You don't have to do that. There are so many options and I'll try to link some below, but even when I just think of brands, like Mango does a chunky boot. That's not super chunky, it's a little more sleek. So, you know, there's something for everyone. First up, I'm gonna mention, I consider the brand that started it all, Prada. It's the Prada Monolith boot. I've had this. It's gonna be my third fall wearing this boot. I have gotten my money's worth, honey. <laughs> and I don't have like the pockets or anything there in my closet, but I love these boots. The leather's so soft. They're so comfortable. Yes, they are heavy. Most of my shoes are heavy. So people always ask me that. I, I can't really <laughs> tell the difference. Next, another controversial pair is the Bottega Tire boot. Again, I absolutely love these. Um, I feel like even though these are super chunky, they're also very different. Um, so yeah, do you necessarily need both? No, but if you are a lover of chunky shoes, yes. Last but not least, I have three examples of the style, but basically it's just a mule. I think that this is a great essential because it's that in between. And that's why I said I'm not sharing like any like super high heels or strappy sandals or anything like that. Because I feel like the tennis shoe and the chunky boot are kind of your casual thing. And then the mule can kind of take you to like elevating your look appropriate for work, but it's still not super, super dressy. Cause I know everybody's not getting super, super dressed up. So that was my thought process. So the mule and my examples are, I have the Gucci Princetown loafer, oldie but goodie. I have this shoe in um, two colors, but this is kind of like my fall winter version in this, um, what is this, with these crystals and was it suede, something like that. Um, absolutely love this one. And this is good, again, if you, I mean, the crystals are a little extra, but um, if you want to wear this with some crop denim, um, I wear these a lot with dresses, but you could also do like a pair of slacks or trousers. It's just a good option that's nicer than a tennis shoe. Um, the next one is something a little more like ladylike, a little more classic, and that is this Manolo Blahnik little mule. Um, here is the heel. So again, not super high. I have these in two colors. And this is again, just if you want to elevate the look a little bit, but you still want to be comfortable, this is a great option. And you can typically find these on sale. Um, the both pair that I have, <laughs> I bought on sale, like literally like massive sale. I want to say like 300 bucks. Um, so again, a great option. This would be great with like one of the slip skirts. You could do like one of the button up shirts or even like a lightweight sweater, a cute little cardigan. Super cute. And probably the most uh, controversial one is gonna be the Balenciaga knife mule. Again, this is if you're a little more out there with your fashions, if you're a little more of like a fashion girl, <laughs> then you won't mind how extreme these are. Cause they are extreme, I have these in two colors as well. Um, but all the same, they all do the same thing, just depends on your style. But I definitely wanted to mention the mule. I feel like that's just such a fall shoe because we are, 
Some of us are kind of like slowly letting go of our sandals, but we're not quite ready for boots. So this is kind of a good in between. So, all right, queens, those are my 13 closet essentials. I hope this video was helpful. Again, don't forget, I will link everything I showed in the description box by category, right? So the, whatever the essential is, slip skirt, um, wrap dress, and I will try to list price points. So I'll put that next to each link. Um, it's kind of like low price point, mid price point, high price point, or luxury price point, something like that. Um, also, make sure you check out Farfetch for all of my favorites. Um, I will also put separate um, a separate section for that and links and use my discount code is only for 30 days so 30 days from when this video is published and the code is right here it's janae yt10 it'll save you 10 percent off exclusions apply all of that will be in the description box i think that's everything these videos wear me out but they're also so fun because it really forces me to like think through what's most helpful for you guys so i hope you enjoy it oh and before i go hold on i've been saving it for a video so it comes with a little card from YouTube. There we go. So you can kind of see, it says Hi Little Lux, we're passing 100,000 subscribers. Yay! So I just wanted to share this because I know we already did the giveaway and all that jazz, um, but I wanted to share it because I was like super excited to get it. Like who would ever thought? I, would, I, I just didn't, I did not think we'd get here. <laughs> so thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I'm so grateful. Okay, so I think that's everything. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for sticking to the end. I think that's everything. Thanks for stopping by. See ya.